And now, live from the Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages Porch. Reservation Dogs was Time Magazine's pick for best show of 2023. News on Six's Test Money is live from the Coca-Cola Porch with two brothers who appeared in 13 episodes of the hit Hulu show, Tess. Dave, Leanne, if you watched Res Dogs, there is a good chance that these two characters were among your favorites in the show. I'm talking about Lil Mike and Funny Bone, who played twins, Mose and Miko, on the show. But when they're not on their bikes on the set of Res Dogs, they are rappers who pride themselves in producing music with a positive message. And we are so glad that they are here with us this morning. Made the long drive in dark and early from Oklahoma City. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Hey, <laughs> thank you for having us. Yeah. So you all are members of the Pawnee tribe and you are from Oklahoma City, but you say you did not grow up there. Yeah, well, we didn't do much growing is what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> but we were born and raised in Oklahoma City. Yeah. All over, bouncing around town, north, south, east, west. Oh, the city is our res. So on the show, you all play twins, but you're not actually twins. And I didn't find that out until just yesterday. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you gotten that your whole life? Oh, yeah. Um, well, see what happened. in my late teens, um, when he joined me on rap, and um, it was like Destiny Child and uh, all the boy bands and they were all dressing alike and I said, oh, we should start dressing alike because beforehand he was dressing like a clown. <laughs> yeah, I was dressing like I was at the beach every day. With bright colors and the little button up uh, something you wear in Hawaii type stuff. Well, I noticed on the show <laughs> you you dress alike there too, but before the show there was America's Got Talent. Mm. You guys had your first taste of National Spotlight in 2013 yes. and then you kind of started growing your fan base then, right? Oh yes. That was that was our first worldwide national debut. Oh yeah. International debut. Um, so that was pretty awesome. And the funny story is we told them no three times when they called us. We hung up on them because uh, two years before that, we auditioned and we waited in line all day and they told us they were not looking for rappers. And so two years later, when they called, we're like, oh, nope. If you and didn't want us the first time, <laughs> you can't have us now. That was right? kind of the idea. We figured, <laughs> no, they're not interested. We're not going to waste time. So they called again. No, we're really interested. We're by click. And they're like, and we asked them when they called the third time, what, what, what did you see? And they saw a video on YouTube of us rapping. So we said, use that as the audition and then call us if we make it. <laughs> and you, you all made it to the second round, but then Res Dogs comes along. Mm. Uh, did you all wanna be actors? I mean, you're rappers in your, in your personal life and you play rappers on the show and kind of, you know everything what's going on in town on Res Dogs. How did it happen to, to get on Res Dogs? Oh, uh, well, COVID. Um, yeah, COVID. COVID shut down all our tour dates, and um, the, the next best thing for entertainers was acting. And so we just auditioned here, auditioned there, and then the only one that called us back was Reservation Dogs, and which was funny because the parts we auditioned for was 11-year-old twins. And so we did not think that they were going to call at all. So we was just doing it like for practice. And you didn't play 11 year old twins. What was it like to be part of a series that is called one of the most groundbreaking, one of the best shows of 22 and 23? It's epic. I, I think it's really influential. And the fact that we get to be a part of it and they use our music in the show is a blessing. And uh, we also freaked out whenever uh, Disney bought the series. We were like, what? That's crazy. There's no way I'll There's believe it when I sign cussing. it. There's too much custom. We didn't think Disney would buy it. <laughs> so you all have, you put out a positive message in your rapping, and mm. that's kind of where you are now. You're really focusing on the rapping career. So talk a little bit about that and what's ahead for 2024. You've got some of your albums here with you today. Yes. So we have over 15 albums already streaming everywhere so and we load each album up with over an hour of music so we don't like to uh hold back and <laughs> our next album was coming out early this year we don't have a release date yet we do have a name you want to tell them the name of the album uh the next album is called vibing and it's it's a it's very versatile with the style of music and the topics so yeah we touch on everything on this album and there's all kinds of styles so it's gonna be real nice real nice and then uh we're looking for more acting roles 
So we're still on that. I know a lot of people love us. But um, if you like us on Res Dogs, you will love our YouTube channel. So all right, you guys, find it. thank go you. Find out. Thank you so much. We've, we'll link all of the ways to find you all uh, at newson6.com. We appreciate y'all being here. They even have a cassette tape, but it's actually, it's a <laughs> USB, so you can listen to their music, old school but new school. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> thank Yay! you. Yay!